Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you! Good morning class, this is again your teacher Mai. For today, we were going to have an enrichment lesson in English 3, Day 3. For our objective, use plural of form of regular nouns by adding S or ES. Before we start our lesson, let us read first the story entitled The Ant and the Grasshopper, adapted from Aesop's Fables. Please read with me. The Ant and the Grasshopper In a field, one summer day, a grasshopper hopped about, chirped, and sang to his heart's content. An ant passed by. On his back, he carried a grain of corn he harvested. He walked with great effort. He needed to take the grain of corn to his home. Why not come and have a chat with me, said the grasshopper, instead of working and carrying that food on your back. There must be food for any days, said the ant, and you can do the same. Why bother about the rainy days, said the grasshopper. We have plenty of food at present. The grasshopper sang all day. He played his guitar all day long. The ant went to his way and continued to work and work. When the rainy days came, the grasshopper had no food. He found himself cold and hungry. The ant saw him. He pitied the grasshopper and offered him some food to eat. The grasshopper knew what he needed to do next time. Did you enjoy the story? Very good! For our comprehension check, let us answer the following questions. 1. Who are the characters in the story? The characters in the story are the ant and the grasshopper. Number 2. What were the grasshopper's favorite activities? The grasshopper's favorite activities are to hop, to chirp, and sang to his heart's content. Number three, what was the ant doing on the field one summer morning? The ant carried a grain of corn he harvested one summer morning. Number four, what happened to the grasshopper during the rainy days? During the rainy days, the grasshopper found himself cold and hungry. Number five, why did the grasshopper get hungry during the rainy days? The grasshopper got hungry during the rainy days because he was not able to store food. Now let us proceed in our discussion. What do you see in the first picture? It's an ant. How many ants do you see? One. How about the second picture? It's a grasshopper. How many grasshopper do you see? One. In the third picture? Ants. How many ants do you see? Four. How about the fourth picture? Grasshoppers. How many grasshoppers do you see? Five. The regular noun in the left column, name only one. They are called singular nouns. In the right column are the regular nouns which are more than one. They are called the plural nouns. What is the difference of a singular noun to a plural noun? A singular noun names one person, place, thing, or idea, while a plural noun names more than one person, place, thing, or idea. The rules for changing singular nouns to plural nouns, for most words, add S. For example, boy, boys, clock, Clocks, teacher, teachers, 
dog, dogs. For words ending with ch, s, sh, or x, add es. For example, church, churches, dress, dresses, wish, wishes, box, boxes. For our first activity, give the plural form of the nouns by adding S or ES. Bus, buses, dish, dishes, table, tables, bird, Birds, pouch, pouches, glass, glasses, shirt, shirts, fox, foxes, horse, Horses, brush, brushes, book, books, girl, girls. For a second activity, group the following nouns according to how they form their plural. Group S and group ES for our nouns, coach, fish, computer, ash, student, friend, pitch, car. For our group S, Computer, student, friend, and car. For our group ES, coach, fish, ash, pitch. For your assignment, Fill in the blanks with the correct plural form to complete the sentence. Number one, I share my blank with my friends. Number two, I have many blank. Number three, I give three blank to my mother. Number four, there were two blank playing in the yard. Number five, I found seven blank in the nest. 